Operations here are terrible. <laughs> That's better, isn't it? It's sunny <laughs> for a change in England. <laughs> so we thought today, guys, we'd bring you a vlog um, about how we stay positive in such a negative world. And what better place to do that than nature itself and in the park. So without further ado, let's get into the things that we find helps us with staying positive. So one of the things about the intro that we decided to do there was um, we're in the storm and obviously now now the storm has passed and it's sunny and it's bright and we can see clearly so that's <laughs> why that, now the rain has gone <laughs> so that's why we wanted to do that bit of analogy really that you know um sometimes when we're when we're feeling down or upset about anything can we all go through moments where we are down and upset about things in life it's basically like that storm so we create this storm and it's all angry and it's all moody and cloudy but then you know a couple of days later after the storm has passed or a week or however long it takes you to get over how you're feeling, you'll realise that those emotions have passed and you feel differently. And that's basically what the analogy from the beginning meant really was, you know, waiting for that storm to pass because you aren't that emotion, you're not angry, you're not depressed, you're not sad anxiety. You basically just need to wait for that to pass. It's like a bit of a weather analogy really. So we hope you understand what we mean by that. <laughs> so one thing that we do to stay positive is we try and channel our emotions through for example, vlogs and films. And this could work for everyone as well. Like maybe you like painting or you like writing stories or you like acting or singing, writing music, playing music. These kinds of things help us just trying to like escape really, just, just trying to escape from reality, especially like acting and things. You can just get yourself into different So you can be yeah. someone else, yeah. You can, can be, be someone else. You can be someone else, you can be who you want to be really, and it's based it's a way of escaping, like Eliza said, from the reality of yeah. reality. Reality uh, of reality, yeah. Like, yeah. Another, another thing that we do to stay positive is to meditate. There's different types of meditation. There's the mindfulness meditation where it's like being in the moment. And then we've got like future casting where you think about like yourself and where you want to be. Um, that really does help to kind of de-stress, kind of clear your mind and kind of put you in a relaxed state so that you can think clearly about things a little bit better. Um, sometimes after a meditation, you can feel more relaxed. You can feel more like you've got a, more of a purpose. Um, and if you, mind, if you practice mindfulness, which is about being here now in this moment, um, it can really do wonders because you, you go from thinking about all the things that you're worrying about, all the things that you're stressing about, to actually thinking about just this moment right now. So this moment right now, we're here in the park, it's and that's beautiful. all we've got to worry about. You know, we look around and we see people, we see people walking their dogs, um, and dogs, like you said. Dog. Dogs. In the happy. moment, yeah. If you just observe a dog, like when you take your dogs for a walk, they're just so happy, they'll just run, and they're like darting around the garden, and they just, I just love it. Yeah. That's all they want to do, is just live in the moment, run around, sniff, have a sniff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we, there's so much to go on about that, obviously we won't go into too much detail, but if you do some research, we'll probably do some more vlogs about it. Yeah, it's a whole different vlog about, about it, isn't it? Yeah, it's a whole different <laughs> That's vlog. That's many vlogs. And if you want to know how to meditate, um, I'll put a link in the description below because I know somebody who can, who's got a YouTube channel. Um, her name's Jilly and she'll teach you everything you need to know about how to start meditating. So I'll link that in the description below. She's really good. Hi, Jilly. Another thing you can do is you can, when you're, feeling, when you're in a positive moment or you're in a positive mood, write down all the things that make you happy in life. So it can be walking dog in the park, it can be spending time with your family and friends, even that nice ice cream or whatever it is that you like. Write it down in a book, all the things that you appreciate, even all the little things. And when you're having a day where you're feeling down, you can go back to that book, you can open it and you can see all of the things that you in that moment you forget about that actually you find that you aren't appreciating in that moment. And you'll be able to actually find some happiness. It will actually uplift you a little bit into feeling a little bit more positive about things. And there's things in that book that you'll start reading, you'll get memories, you'll start thinking about things, and you'll 
negative mindset will then start changing into a positive one because you will actually realize that there is a lot of things in life to appreciate um, but the best thing the best time to do that really is actually write it when you are feeling positive and then get it out when you're feeling negative another one that we do and we've done this quite a few times <laughs> and then we always go back on it and we're like oh I should do that again is we know that social media is incredibly incredibly addictive but it's also it can kind of it can, it can waste all days it can bring you down because you'll look at everyone else's posts a lot of people post negative yeah. stuff and and it's like a, what people don't realize is when they post stuff online they're basically posting a show reel, a highlight reel of their life. <laughs> a, fly, a fly just hit my face. <laughs> and when you're looking at the show reel of someone's life, it can seem like all the it looks positive like got, things. It looks like they've yeah. got an amazing life. Like, like they've got the best life ever. But and it can never, bring you down. Yeah, it really does. And one, I've actually, I've actually got a, a post-it note on my desk that says, "Get off of Facebook," because <laughs> <laughs> I forget sometimes. I'm scrolling down, like, I just get nothing done, and he's like, oh. And then I look at that I'm like, oh, actually, yeah, I probably should get off Facebook and yeah. do something now. And it's addictive, isn't it? Yeah. We know it's addictive. One thing we both found is if we've deleted the app off our phone, it kind of, you can't just check it. Yeah, <laughs> it makes, yeah. it, a lot it makes it a lot harder, so you just think, oh, yeah. forget it. Yeah, yeah it's too much effort to too check it Too much effort to check it <laughs> And then. you get stuff done and you yeah. feel better. <laughs> and we know, we know social media is a great tool. Obviously, we're using social media now. We think it's a great tool, but we kind of have to have a bit of a balance. So if you find that you're using it a bit too much or, you know, it's hindering your days, just delete the app, put it down, do something productive, go out there and do something. Get off of Facebook. Get off of Facebook. <laughs> Which brings us on to our next point is do what you love. Too many times in this world, people are doing things that they don't enjoy and they're not taking the time to do things for themselves. And it's all about doing what you love. It's about finding your authentic self and being who you are. And one of those things is finding something that you're passionate about or something that you really enjoy you know listening to sitting here listening to the birds singing it's just it's just a moment that we enjoy vlogging in front of the camera um making a film painting like i said earlier all of those things doing what you love actually brings you purpose it brings you joy to your life it brings you happiness and actually you'll find that when you're doing something that you love it's very hard to think about things in a negative now I have suffered with depression in the past and you know we've all gone through things and I know it's very difficult to hear those things when you're in a, a negative state it really is um, but doing all these little things will help and it's not something that's going to be fixed straight away I understand that but it, it you know just trying to keep as much of a positive mindset as you can is the best thing that, that you can probably do because it's basically like planting a seed you need to give it the right conditions, give it the water to nurture it, to grow properly. And that's basically how we need to look at our mind as well. That's, good. that's a good analogy, I like that. <laughs> this might sound like a really strange one, but it's something that we feel helps us stay positive, is eating healthily. Um, I know that it, when you're feeling down and stuff... It's very hard, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It, all you want is like, you want, to, you want to go and get a burger, or you want some fried Biscuit. food. <laughs> or just because it makes you, in that moment, it makes you feel better, but after that you feel like, you feel a bit crap, but you yeah, feel, you feel like guilty. You, mm. Well, not when I make like amazing, colourful, like plant-based foods. I, I don't know. It's, it's something about it. It just it makes you feel good inside. Like, especially if you, do, if you do that for a long period of time, it makes you feel a lot healthier. Yeah. It makes you feel happier. And we both know, don't we? It takes, it takes 21 days to change a habit. Yeah. So sometimes when you start, it might feel really difficult. But if you just persevere with it, yeah. After a while, you'll realise you don't actually yeah. need the fatty foods and you don't need the cakes and the biscuits and the sweets yeah. and the jelly. It's like you a bit of a detox, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it's like a detox. Another thing that you can do is this is a really simple one. Really, is m most people when they're sad tend to put on their sad playlist um, of music. Just put some tunes on that you know make you happy have a dance it's, it's very hard isn't it to feel sad when you when your favourite <laughs> song's on <laughs> and you like go ooh oh, you like everywhere you go you always take the weather with you <laughs> everywhere you go some, some good old dance tracks yeah just to bring just, just to lift raise your, your spirits, spirits yeah. raise your vibration raise your vibe breathing in the prana <laughs> breathing in the prana <laughs> I have heard that one before another one as well that we've found as well is sometimes when you feel negative or you feel like the world's just Every, all you can see is everything negative around you is to go out and meet like like-minded people as well like if, if, there's, if there's something you're really into like perhaps you really love art to go out and meet people who can talk about that who know more about that maybe if you make films you want to go meet other filmmakers and surround yourself with people who are positive rather than negative because there's some people that can really you know we call them va vampire energy suckers don't <laughs> we you know <laughs> yeah they suck energy away from you and you can kind of go into that and I understand that people need help and we should we should be there to help people but some people take it to extreme they've got no balance in their life and it's all about the negative and it's very difficult to kind of stay positive around those people so yeah. sometimes you do have to kind of 
balance that out as well maybe not meet them as often maybe only spend time with them outside so that you can go yeah. away from them you know so all little things that you can change yeah. to help you stay in a positive mindset meeting positive people <laughs> so just to finish the vlog off We've got a massive list here of all the pleasant events that you can have in your life. There's just little things that you can do every day and things to appreciate. We'll probably do a separate vlog on this. So we're just going to pick out a couple of them just so to give you a few ideas. So yeah. you can go and visit someone, you can go and talk to a friend, you can go to a party, you can make a new friend, you can listen to music, you can do some gardening, you can go swimming, you can go for a jog. Um, can you think of any there that you want to <laughs> You can learn a new language, you could do a puzzle, you could go gardening, swimming, um, sewing. you can do some sewing or knitting, you, should, you could do some DIY, you could do yep. some painting. Light a candle and watch the flame flicker. I mean, it sounds stupid, but I, I, everyone enjoys that, don't they? Or going out and looking at the stars on the evening, another thing. Actually, when I was at uni, I, I was really struggling to focus on um, doing work. And I said to Sparky, I'm struggling to focus. And he said, light some candles. And I actually got loads of work done. Yeah. The candles, <laughs> it? It I, I just sat there like, why does this make a difference? I didn't understand it does, why yeah. it like, You know, just even difference. lighting an incense stick and like, you know, yeah. <coughs> putting some chill out music on, putting your favourite chill out music. And you, you'll be there like typing away at uni work, like bang, 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 yeah. bang. And you're like, oh my God, do you even get into the rhythm with the keyboard? <laughs> <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll probably put a list below of some of the best ones so you can pick out yeah, and hopefully they'll give you some ideas of sort of little things that you can do just to kind of cheer yourself up in the moment some little pleasant events that you can do to take your mind off this thing that we call life sometimes that we need to have a bit of a break from yeah so throughout life, we could end up going and spending so much time worrying about other people or is, um, you know, my sister okay, is so-and-so okay, and just panicking about other people. It's really important to remember that you are a priority too. Yeah. You need to make sure you're okay. Because if you're not okay, then you're not going to be able to give your best and help other people. And and it, when you're in a, in a positive mind state and you're, you're feeling better, you're basically giving off better energy, you attract better energy, basically, like the law of attraction so it's basically like training your brain or your mind to see the good in every situation and we can all do that we can all train ourselves to see the good in every situation and when you start seeing the good in every situation life starts changing and life starts becoming better so you guys know how much we love quotes so we thought we'd end the vlog with a lovely quote that we found and it is nobody can go back and start a new beginning but anyone can start today and create a new ending it's so good, isn't it? And that's by Maria Robinson. Um, so it's so true, isn't it? it? Is, like, it's so we've true. all got the ability. We can all start. Yeah. To, to think positive. So start here. Start where you are. Start now. And remember that the mind is everything. What you think, yeah. you the, become. The power of the, the the power of the mind. Honestly, our minds are so powerful. I heard someone say before. Um, if you knew the power of the mind, you would never have a negative thought ever. And I thought that was like, like really, like, yeah. Wow. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like, like and subscribe um, if, if this has helped or if you've got any, any other suggestions what you do to stay positive, um, drop yeah, them in the comment box below. So hopefully you've learned something from the vlog. Like Eliza said, pop some comments below if you can and we'll see you soon. We'll Take see care. you next time.